I'm Chris at the University of Massachusetts Boston's McCormick Graduate School of Policy and Global Studies. I'm pleased that you are considering our award-winning master's degree program in public affairs. After this online informational session, I'm sure you will discover a program, a college, and a university that you wish to be a part of. I'd like to introduce you to our MSPA program. Here are some quick facts about us. We are most proud that U.S. News & World Report has designated us a top graduate school in our field. Our students will gain a solid grounding in politics, economics, management, budgeting, statistics, and public finance. Our courses provide students with the analytical, technical, and leadership skills necessary to prepare for careers in public service or to enhance the skills of those already employed in the public sector. Our evening and weekend cl classes are designed for the convenience of full-time working professionals, allowing you to complete the degree in just 18 months. We have a cohort model that allows students to stay together as a group and learn from each other's experiences in the field. Our alumni often praise the cohort model as one of the program's best features. These skills will be useful for advancing your career in a variety of fields. In addition to a few part-time practitioners, we have seven full-time faculty dedicated to direct or teach in the master's program. There are specialists in a wide range of public affairs and public administration fields, including e-government, social networks, nonprofit management, public sector service delivery, philanthropy, and more. MSPA candidates are required to successfully complete 24 credits in core courses, six credits in weekend module credits, and a six credit capstone research project on a topic of your choice. Graduates of our program can pursue many different career paths. Here are three examples. As you can see, our alums are working in different sectors across the country. We have a diverse group of students and alumni, diverse in their ages, educational backgrounds, country of origin, as well as race and ethnicity. Our graduate students enjoy a collegial and supportive academic environment. Our students can have multiple advisors. One acts as an academic advisor monitoring your progress and suggesting course selection options. Another is a capstone supervisor guiding you in your final research project. Our departmental guest lectures, skills training seminars, and alumni networking receptions all contribute to your career development. If you are interested in a committed, high-quality faculty, supportive academic environment, quantitative and qualitative methodologies, applied research focus, diversity of students, variety of courses based on real-world issues, affordable tuition, all part of an award-winning public affairs graduate program, then the MSPA program at UMass Boston is a perfect fit for you. Students in the MSPA program are not only part of the McCormick Graduate School, but also the university community as a whole. Here are some quick facts about UMass Boston. Allow me to highlight two of my favorites. Student-centered public institution and research university with a teaching soul. UMass Boston delivers a student-centered education that is not commonly associated with major public universities. Faculty members have strong research and publishing credentials, but teaching is a key priority for them. The photos here depict Beacon Hill, one of Boston's smallest and most historic neighborhoods, featuring a mix of grand townhouses, antique shops, and Tyson cafes and chic clothing boutiques. The city is a source of many internship, employment, community service, and research opportunities for students. Here's some Boston trivia for you. Did you know that Massachusetts has more shoreline than the state of California? Did you know that the bridge on Commonwealth Avenue, we call it Com Ave, in Boston is the only place in the world where a boat can sail under a train, driving under a car, driving under an airplane? 
living in an urban environment, especially a city like Boston with such a rich history, helps UMass Boston students understand their roles as citizens, their roles as change agents building a more efficient and effective public sector. Want more trivia? Everyone knows about the Boston Tea Party and Paul Revere, but did you know that Boston is home to the country's first public elementary school? The Mather School was founded in 1639 in Dorchester, the neighborhood where UMass Boston calls home. Some 600,000 people reside in Boston. Nearly 70% of housing units in Boston are occupied by renters rather than owners. I'm sure that is due in large part to the 250,000 students here. The photo on the right depicts the reflection of the Trinity Church in the windows of the John Hancock Tower. This 60-story tall building boasts 13 acres of glass. While Boston is home to many expensive private colleges and universities, only UMass Boston is unequivocally committed to meeting the needs of students who want high-quality, university-level education that is also accessible, convenient, and affordable in the extraordinary educational environment Boston has to offer. So whether you live in Boston or Massachusetts already, or will plan to move here from around the corner or around the globe, we promise you not only a fine education at UMass Boston, but a city full of history, culture, and beauty. Let me wrap up. UMass Boston is an exciting place to learn, and Boston is a beautiful, diverse, and vibrant place to live, and the two go hand in hand. Since its founding, UMass Boston has chosen to actively engage with and serve its community. As our chancellor frequently notes, the urban environment is the environment of the future, and UMass Boston is confidently at home in this environment, enriching its quality while, at the same time, drawing life and strength from it. I hope that this informational session has provided you with a good overview to our MSPA program, our university, and the college town in which we live and to which we contribute. I invite you to learn more about the master's degree program in public affairs. Visit our website, come to campus to sit in on a class or two, talk with one of our students or professors. If you are already convinced, the next step is to request a catalog and begin the application process. Here's what you need to submit as part of your admissions application. Be sure to register early for the GRE as spaces fill up for the exam in early spring. Our application deadline is April 15th. We ask that you submit all official materials to the university's Office of Graduate Admissions and then, to expedite the work of our admissions committee, send us a photocopy as well. Please see our website for complete details. Our program administrator, Karen, is ready to provide you with any additional information you may need or to arrange a campus visit.